Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are going to be starting a new run doing office businesses only. Now I'm not going to keep it to like one type of office business. We're going to do all the office businesses, but we're going to see how well we perform, especially against rivals in the office realm. So let's get started. I'm going to show you the settings that I started with. I maxed out the sliders except for negative interest rate and just negative interest rates, whatever. But, um, Everything else is maxed out. And I also am going to skip business school. We're gonna just be doing no business school at all because it's just kind of a, it's kind of like a hurdle for the campaign, to be honest. But aging is still there. Happiness, energy, that's all still part of the, the, the playthrough. So let's get a home and some stuff inside and we'll probably work at Elgato a little bit but let's let's get back to it once uh I'm able to get a loan because this is not gonna be a rags to riches run either but I'm gonna get a loan and then we'll start our first office business all right guys so I've worked a few days at Elgato food market I have myself now a loan for twenty thousand eight hundred forty five dollars I believe that should be enough I've already gone to uh I'll show you here. I've, I've already been to Kingdom Office, City Workforce, and Mr. Scott's to talk to them. I haven't talked to Ike Balhag yet, which I'm actually going to do right now. Thankfully, with this run, so we don't need to worry about any infrastructure of sorts or logistics, really, is the more appropriate term here. So I don't have to worry about logistics. I don't, I don't have any goods to store. I have no places to deliver to. Nothing like that. So super duper easy, thankfully get to this place here gotta wait an hour unfortunately but there we go but yeah so it, it should be it, fundamentally speaking it's gonna be a, even more hands-off once things are set up i mean there's really no reason otherwise like it just doesn't make sense to to really do much of anything in any of these offices i mean it's not at all the same as retail whatsoever so it'll be interesting to to try to do this uh, playthrough. I've never done just offices only, so this is going to be new to me. I mean, not that offices are radically different or anything. It's just they they definitely function differently and, you know, are, are a lot easier, at least in my opinion, to make profit. Anyway, so going back to the map here, I've already picked out a location to start with. I really, really wanted to get away from the garment district at first, to be honest with you guys. The main thing though is the office options in lower manhattan well now that one's available it was not available before before it was just this one so i was stuck only having this one as you know my entry point which that's just not going to work out right now but now that this one's available i could probably take this one daily rent 17 dollars. yeah let's just take this one we'll have two office buildings whatever but uh let's see what our best office uh, uh demand is so let's actually it's probably on the lower end here so programmer is not don't do the programmer lawyers at 294.75 33 percent designer is 34 percent 150 so this is still to me that's the same so lawyer fee i think is going to be our best bet to start with so we will start a law firm in lower manhattan i really like that this neighborhood is here now it's obviously fundamentally different than the rest of them it's it's smaller and, and has many more warehouses <laughs> but still only two competitors for a law firm that's good so we'll call this Delodes law e-l-l-c i think plc is the right term wow. Anyway, so now we got to get, we only have a capacity of, uh, well, four, apparently. Really? Four? Am I seeing that right? Yeah, four. Yikes. What's my other one here? This is not probably a bad thing, to be honest. No, it is four. Cool. All right. Well, four. That's fine. So now we need to talk to Mr. Scott, give him a call. 
we know that we want at least we could at least start with probably two let's try starting with two because i mean it's we only have twenty two thousand dollars so i'm not sure how well this is going to turn out but i think starting with two is a good idea i think that should suffice and you know we got some office plants we can throw in here maybe one of those maybe give them a mouse pad hopefully that's all they want it's gonna be hard because obviously i'm gonna be hiring from city workforce first and i'm not starting with a headquarters so i'm also not gonna have a headhunter so the people i'm stuck with i'm stuck with i th think that's the best place to start right now so that's seven grand that we're throwing down from our 22 and we're not going to be making any money tomorrow. So hopefully it's not going to hurt us. Let's call City Workforce now. We only want full timers. We'll do five. So now we're going to be down 12,000. So we only have 10,000 remaining. It's just because I want it all in one day. That's just me being lazy. <laughs> all right. So let's meet back up once we have these first lawyers hired up and we'll talk about them. All right, guys, while I'm setting up the place here, the lawyers are starting to flow in from the workforce agency. So what I'm going to do for this run through, I'm going to rely on loans pretty early on. And what I planned on was instead of, you know, trying to set up a bunch of businesses at once, eventually, I'm going to try to do this as take one loan, set up the business, pay it off so it's going to be a little bit slower to begin with i think this is just an idea I'm, I'm trying out by the way i have no idea how successful these businesses are going to be because again i don't really dabble in office that much hence this run to be honest i want to see what it's like but you know it, it's it's going to be a little strange for me at first because i'm not sure exactly what the best way to to run these businesses is and i know most of it's gonna be pretty hands-off again because there's no need for logistics or anything so it should be pretty straightforward and easy it's just a matter of getting the right people in i guess and these first lawyers i'm gonna hire i'm gonna have to train them up too i'm sure and i probably should worry about the interior because the interior is not gonna give us a great score right now See if I can kind of bump it up a little bit to something at least relatively nice. Like how much we're gonna be spending if I do this. Let's do at least a relatively decent floor. So 5,300 for a score of 72. All right, we're just gonna have to try it. But. Let's actually do this. Here's our initial setup right here. So we have one lawyer in one room, another lawyer in the next room, and we do have room to expand if need be. But right now we're going to start with just two lawyers. Let's move him a little bit more central. There we go. So this is pretty simplistic. Nothing fancy, obviously. I mean, I wouldn't say it's a really bad space, to be honest. It's got nice brick walls with nice wood flooring. <laughs> But beyond that, you know, nothing special. Anyway, let's see what we have right now. We only have three at the moment. And like I said, as you can tell, these guys have very low skills. So I'm still going to have to train them, which is going to drain me every single day. We may start with them at low. I don't know. In fact, let's see what the, they just want full time. We'll just run with these two right now. I'm just going to we're just going to do this. I know we paid five grand, but stupid on my part. All right, let's see how much this is going to cost us. Now that we've got, I bought a bed as well for our apartment. So I'm basically just going to sleep away the trading until I run out of money. I guess I really don't know. Oops hoping to catch that cab oh, well oh look there's another one
We're back at the old stomping ground as usual, so nothing special there. But uh, I'm going to go through and sleep a few days and get the training done. And let's see how well we do once I've trained them up a little bit. All right, guys, we're back. I'm going to stop here because stop here training rather because I'm going to run out of money really quick training these guys up and they're already asking for things that I can't I like I we're gonna have to wait to buy one of these in fact thankfully Scott White hasn't asked for anything but Dorothy wants an executive office desk so I'm gonna have to figure that out but I think we're safe to actually put these people in now we're gonna want to make sure our schedule yep eight hours but I mean I think that's eight hours is all we get I don't think there's any reason to go above that per day I mean, we could add, you know, two more people, I guess, and open up the days longer, but I don't think it's worth it. I think this might be the, I'm going to actually do it nine to five, not eight to four. But I think this is actually the best option for us. That way we can also make sure that they're able to work off, you know, six days here. We're not going to be open Sundays, at least for now. Maybe my offices will be that open then at that point. I don't know. Anyway, let's get these people assigned over to the law firm. Now we're going to want to give them uniforms and we'll just call this lawyers. So the lawyers are going to wear black suits, not blue. And they're definitely not going to be wearing hats. <laughs> and our women are going to be wearing black as well i think i'm gonna give them pants i i mean i get that skirts can be just as authoritative in a law firm but i like the idea of pants more i think it looks more professional as a lawyer i don't know why maybe just my own personal perception on what a lawyer should look like but i don't know i think it looks good so we'll we'll give them these uniforms here now, we are obviously going to be currently closed at the exact moment, but schedule wise, this should be very easy. We're going to share it all day or all all days, share it for all days, I should say. So Scott and Dorothy will be working and hopefully starting. Let's see today's Saturday. So starting in two days, Monday, we'll see how well we do. All right. So we actually made sixteen hundred dollars. What I forgot to do was change my pricing. <laughs> so I'm the lowest in the market which is unfortunate. Let's see. What's our actual minimum? So 294. Let's do 294.50. There we go. So we're still the lowest market price. Now, our current capacity is four or two rather instead of four because we only have the ability to do two workstations at the moment. I do need to get a executive office desk. Now, what also has happened, unfortunately for me, is Scott now wants gold health insurance. And I believe, yeah, he's considering that important, which means I need to get this done as soon as possible. So this is one of the things that with offices, I'm going to be a little bit more aggressive on. And that's getting the headquarters completely set up and, and going so that I can actually get the, 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 the wants and needs of our office employees completed and, and, and given, I guess for them so what I need to do now is contact city workforce and get a probably the best option is to start with a headhunter because that way I can get the rest of oh I don't I don't have I need to get a headquarters first but a, a headhunter I think is the place to start so we need a headquarters now and I desperately wanted to be in lower Manhattan however I can't afford this place right now Literally, I can't afford it. Now, I could probably get a loan. How much is the daily rent? 220. Let's talk to Jensen Capital here real quick. What can they actually give us? So if I try 19,000, will you do it? You can't offer more than 1,176. Okay, that's not going to pan out. So I think I need to go through a few days of income before I'm able to do that. But before I do that, let's check the pricing on an executive office desk, at least to get Dorothy satisfied. So 2200 Yikes. Okay. 
That is a lot of money. But I can't afford it. However, I think it's better if I do my own traveling here. So I'm going to get that taken care of. I'm going to get the executive office desk in so Dorothy can use that. And then we'll go from there. Okay, guys. I have Dorothy on the executive office desk, desk now. And uh, she is now currently satisfied. So now we just need to worry about Scott's needs and... That essentially just means setting up that headquarters. So let me get to that point. Hopefully we'll make more than 1600, but I mean, we're, we're kind of stuck, unfortunately, with only having two, meaning that we get basically 16 per hour, which we already saw, you know, how much we got there. So we got 16 customers yesterday. So it's exactly what we were expecting, but who knows? We'll, we'll hopefully at least eclipse Two hundred or two thousand dollars per day here to start with, and then we can start hiring more employees, etc. Once we get the headquarters set up, so just got to get that part done. We're unfortunately going to have to choose a different office, I think, unless we can hopefully get more money for this place here. We'll see. There, we got to work on that loan as well. My original idea, by the way, originally I wanted to do a forty thousand dollar loan. So when I say I'm going to get a loan and then pay it off entirely and whatnot. That's if I can get the maximum amount. So what I'm going to try to do is have a couple more days of income and then see if Jensen Capital let me get 40,000 total amongst my outstanding loans. And we'll see how much, you know, or if we can go from there. But if we can do that, then we can rent this office space here and then get, you know, this could be our main office. It's a 660 square meter office, so it's pretty big. I mean, you can just see it here. It's big, so we won't need anything else, at least for now. So yeah, let's get this, uh, let's get the show on the road. Let's see what else we can do here and uh, meet back up once we get the headquarters started. All right, guys, a couple days have gone by. I was able to get that loan that I was looking for, that 19,000 remaining. So we are now pretty much at $39,845 on our loan. I'm not going to worry about the other 165 or whatever that is. That's fine. Or 55. Anyway. So now we can rent this building here. It's going to be a drop of 7,300 plus another 2,200. So 7,580 total that we're going to be dropping right there. But we're going to start our headquarters. We're going to call this. Needs to be some kind of like cool sounding umbrella group. Officeum LLC. So it's kind of like a combination. So obviously we're going to office them up. We're going to put offices everywhere, office businesses. And it's also Office M, Office Empire. And then it kind of just sounds like you're saying awesome as well when you say it fast. Awesome. <laughs> or office. <-um. laughs> English is difficult right now. Anyway, silly name aside, we are going to have our headquarters finally, which is good. Now we will need to start with, like I mentioned before, getting that headhunter so let's get that here we want a headhunter i'm just gonna do a single candidate i'm not gonna do this again like it i guess i could do that but it's that's just gonna take too damn long I'm just gonna do one can't we're just gonna stick with the one that we get that's it I'm just gonna do that now we also need to talk to mr scott's office supplies i have that desk still so we're good there. Uh, we wanted to go there, there. We're going to need at least one more desk, two more computers and two more chairs. There we go. Maybe we'll get the water cooler. Don't need anything else. I don't think, I think we're going to just start with that. Hopefully that'll be okay. I just need to go grab the desk at the law firm and get that inside there and we can uh, get this place going. All right, guys, we are back. So I have the HR manager in. The headhunter was successful in finding the appropriate HR manager. So we got Winifred Del Rio here now and she is 100% skilled. We just hired 100% immediately. I just wanted to get that taken care of. I've already called the health insurance manager and I forgot to actually start it. I forgot that it 
<laughs> Let me do it. So we're doing it now. So Winifred, please be gold. Perfect. Done. We'll just wait for that to come in tomorrow and we will negotiate. We are looking all right on the business front now. Yesterday was Sunday. That's why there's zero. Saturday, it seems to cut the demand or not the demand, but the amount of customers in half. So I'm thinking either have, you know, be open seven days a week and have one of the layers here on Saturday, one on Sunday, or maybe just be closed to the weekends, to be honest, because we were losing money being open Saturday, unfortunately, but we do make money every other day except for the weekend, obviously. So I'm going to leave it like that, to be honest. Uh, I just realized. We haven't updated our logo. I think I'm going to pay more attention to that this time around. I think it's it's fun. I like having these cool little things here. Uh, probably, probably not that one. We'll do Bebas. Bebas new. Anyway, we'll save that there. Everything else looks good to me. Perfect. We'll keep making money that way. Now, what I want to do and what I've instructed the HR manager to do, or sorry, sorry the headhunter to do, we're going to be looking for lawyers at the lowest skill level the purpose of that, and we want to continue, we need to recruit continuously here. So the, the purpose of that is to get some more lawyers in that we can just train up and get them to 100%. Now, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that also will make it so that the per hour increase will be less than hiring lawyers at 100%. So hiring a lawyer at 100%, I think, is like hundred something like 110 to 120 or something like that an hour. I can't remember exactly what it said. I have it low here, but, uh, I believe by training them up, it'll actually be less per hour at max level or max skill, I guess I should say. So that's what we're going to try to do. I just need to situate the inside of our law firm and get a couple more, uh, desks and computers and chairs in there. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take this taxi here. First thing we're going to do is head to Eichenbohag. And I believe we'll actually be able to get everything we need here. If I'm not mistaken, I might be mistaken. I guess we'll find out here shortly. But I'm going to take you along just because we only have one business right now. So might as well go on the journey to the furniture store. All right, look right there. Perfect. Get two of those chairs. We'll get two of these desks. Two. No, no, we don't want the base. No, we don't want that. We want just the base computers. Where are they? I know they have them. There's. Get those two there. And then, uh, I believe it was the headhunter. Yeah. Headhunter wants an office phone. Winifred is good all together, which is great. It's perfect. All right. So let's find an office phone here. I believe they have them here. Could be wrong. And I'm going to be really sad if that's the case. Ah, oh, it doesn't look like it. I'm not seeing it, guys. Let's just make sure here. Traffic signs. All right, no. Nope. Bummer. So I'll have to go to Mr. Scott's for that. And that's okay. I'll just order this stuff right now. And we'll bring this to the law firm and get that office phone as well for the HQ. And hopefully. So here's the thing we're either going to have too many desks, even though four per hour is our maximum capacity there's no telling how many customers will actually get every single day, hopefully for the entire time per hour, every single day, but we'll see. We're going to try and see if that happens. If it happens that way, great. We'll just, you know, go with that and leave that place as is and call that place honestly complete. However, if that is not the case, then we're going to need to obviously start a second business so that we can at least meet that capacity that we're, we're getting. Now, we're not going to be able to do... I am looking for a cab, by the way. We're not going to be able to do, you know, Lower Manhattan again, at least for the time being, because there are no other offices available. We'll just open that up there just for proof. No other offices in this town. 
part of town, I guess I should say. So, we're gonna have to focus back this direction. However, we'll see if this works out. Let's get to the law firm here. Now, I'm not entirely sure how well this is gonna fit. So hopefully it fits all together. I'm gonna, I am gonna move that. All right. So it has to be essential here unless I do this, but then it just looks weird. All right. That's okay. You can still get by. I know you're all going to hate me for that, but I'm just going to leave that there and it'll disappear. Sorry. I know you want me to keep them. All right. So I can get back here. This is still fine. Yeah, this is still fine. And it looks like we need a cleaner, however. So we're going to have to hire someone like that as well. We're already getting candidates for lawyer, which is good. This guy starts at 68. Hmm. I guess we'll see. But now I got to find another cab here to get back. Yeah, that's essentially where I'm sitting at the moment. I need to uh, hire on these new lawyers, get them trained up, and go from there. So I'll see you here once that's done. All right, guys, we are heading back to the law firm here. We now have the lawyers hired in, and they were trained up to 70%-ish because I was starting to lose money. And in fact, before yesterday, where we made $2,200, I made $92, <laughs> so I needed to get them in, unfortunately, as many immediately. So uh, I also ended up negotiating with the health insurance manager and got them from 1971 down to 1834. So that was good. Not, not a bad reduction there. And everyone now has gold health insurance, which should cover any. Well, it does. I know it, it, it does cover any at all insurance expectations so that's pretty good in terms of the money making we are doing exactly what i'm was hoping for so all four workstations are being worked we are getting four customers an hour all eight hours of the day every single day we're open which is perfect we are getting as much as we possibly can out of this place right now at least we could probably raise the pricing but when i actually raised it up to the minimum market price i lost customers in fact, I'll show you. So we'll we'll do that again. Oh no, never mind. The market adjusted to me. That's interesting. Uh, what happened there? Uh, let's actually do this. There's still three businesses. So they all yeah, they all just matched me. I guess interesting. Very strange. Okay. Cool. Awesome. All right. So now that we're making $2,200 a day, law firms, I mean, in a small space, that's not too bad. I don't mind it. I think I'm going to keep this for now as the only law firm. It, I mean, right now it has to be because I don't have the ability to get any other offices here in, in lower Manhattan, but should another office open up, I'm not going to do another law firm here just because, well, one, it'd be nice to have a different office business in lower Manhattan and two, the demand is so low. I don't think we're going to be able to get much out of it. I mean, I really don't know. I don't do offices almost at all. So I really truly don't know how well they they'll pan out with multiples in the same district, especially one with, with so little to work with. But I'm thinking our next location, it, it's not, we're not doing the Garma district. We're not doing that. We're going to probably try for either Murray Hill or if possible, let's see, this is a big one here. We might be able to pull off here in Hell's Kitchen, but how much? Yeah, I can't even. No, I can't even do it. That's too bad. No, I can't do Midtown. Yeah, can't do Midtown. So looking at Murray Hill, kind of want a bigger space than A3. Why 
why don't I I don't recognize a three building type is that strange I don't know what to make of that I don't think I've ever seen that before am I losing my mind did that always exist I don't remember that oh because duh 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 download it's an office <laughs> see I don't do offices almost at all Oh man, okay. Mind is blown and now not blown. <laughs> Alright, so we really don't have much to pick from it looks like. I mean, there's this one, which the initial payment and rent isn't so bad, and the size, I mean, that's that's alright. I could work with this. Let's do that. So, I mean, we don't have really much to work with beyond just getting this place opened up here. Or at least started. So I'm thinking probably because there's only two competitors of graphic designers versus web development agencies. I'll do a graphic designer next. And we'll call this. Actually, no, let's do DKA Designs. And we already have a wonderful logo for it. Right there. Perfect. We'll do Anton font. Save that looks pretty decent to me so now we have a, a graphic designer to work with now and we can fit 10 customers an hour which isn't a terrible amount but hey it'll get us another business here and looking at the market in murray hill the demand for graphic design is 49 percent that is actually astonishing $154.10 an hour. Not too bad, guys. That's actually pretty good. So we can get up to basically 10 graphic designers in that regard. So what we're going to need to do now, we're going to just tell these guys to jog on. <laughs> Let's uh, get the headhunter hunting heads and find some graphic designers for us. Now, hopefully we're going to start small again, like low. I'm going to keep all this the same. We should be okay in this regard because we don't care part-time or full-time. We're not going to hire any part-timers. We're just going to be open Monday through Friday. Maybe weekends in the future, but right now things are going to be pretty static. We're not going to have much income at all on the weekends, which is unfortunate for us. But let's just start recruiting that. Let's recruit continuously just so we can get a good pool of uh, people in because we're going to need 10 of them, but we're going to need to get some money first before we can even start getting anything else going because we need to obviously buy all the furniture and everything but i think that'll be less uh, better better uh better left to the next video on the next one we will get that place set up we will get the entire office basically decked out we're going to try to get as much money as we can before then but we, we really want to get the place looking nice and we also got to remember to get cleaners, not only for law firm, but also for this place as well. So we can have everything nice and clean and people won't be, you know, if you walking in seeing all the dirty floors and whatnot. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys end up liking what we're doing here. But uh, I'm pretty excited to get these offices going. I think offices are a pretty cool idea and it'll uh, be something different. You know, staying away from retail is really going to limit our scope. So this probably won't be a very long series, but... My overall goal for this run is to, how about this? Let's open up an office empire. Let's get as, you know, as much as money as we can at least reasonably get with office businesses. And then we could start buying out the properties and we're going to try buying out properties. I'm probably just going to focus on the garment district for the property aspect of it because I mean, let's be honest. Pretty much anything else is going to be out of the realm of possibility. Like, yeah, the property value is 475 million. I mean, <laughs> I'm not, that's, that's not going to happen right now. But, uh, yeah, I think, I think that'll suffice. We'll, we'll try to work on getting properties in. Why is my game freaking out? That was weird. It's really freaking out. It's not liking something. I know you guys can see that. Huh? Not sure what's going on there, but anyway. So yeah, we're going to try to get properties in the Garment District. And we'll see how well that works out. And 
go from there. But thanks guys for watching again. And obviously if you're not done so yet, hit that subscribe button below, subscribe for more big ambitions videos. And of course, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And to all of you who have stuck around and are still watching, I very much so appreciate you. And once again, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.